In this summary, we look at what Web 3.0 might look like and how it will fundamentally change the way we interact with the internet. Web 3.0 represents ideas for the next stage in the evolution of the internet that centers around decentralization and ownership. Web 1.0 started around 1990 and is also called the information economy, with the primary function being read. Web 1.0 laid the foundation and infrastructure for the web that was to come and was heavily centralized. Desktop computers were used primarily and users had to navigate through a disorganized web of non-interactive pages, with the early beginnings of e-commerce slowly emerging. Web 2.0 evolved from 2004 onward and is also called the platform economy, with the primary functions being read-write. Web 2.0 made navigation easier with the help of advanced search engines and saw a major shift towards user-generated content which consequently made the internet more social. Mobile first made connecting and interacting with each other as well as content creation much easier, which eventually led to the creator economy because creators were able to monetize content. Content creation and content sharing creates huge volumes of data and the need to store it. Combined with the always-on culture and cloud computing, Big tech took a monopoly position alongside the demand for handling and storing user data. This came with a price since data was stored on centralized data centers and was essentially property of the platform owners. This brought privacy concerns because users had to accept the terms and conditions of the platforms, and often the results was the loss of ownership, personal data being sold to third parties, and freedom of speech censorship. In short, big tech was able to act as a central authority over data streams. Web 3.0 is described as the next phase of the World Wide Web and is also called the token economy with primary functions read, write, own. In this phase, the web is owned by users and creators, fueled by tokens. Web 3.0 is open in the sense that its systems are developed on open source standards. The network is trustless. It offers freedom to users to interact publicly and privately without an intermediary exposing them to risks, hence trustless data. The network is permissionless. Anyone can interact with each other via lightning-fast, seamless, interoperable peer-to-peer -peer networks without the need for permission from a controlling organization. Technological advances are used to enrich user-centric Web3 experience, such as blockchain technology for decentralized data networks that allow sharing of data without ownership or privacy loss and allows secure login over the internet without being tracked. Decentralized autonomous organizations shape the future of company management, and with the help of smart contracts, most processes will be automated for an optimized experience. NFTs solve the problem of centralized ownership and provide an easy solution to show proof of ownership and transferring proof of ownership of digital and physical assets. Cryptocurrency is used to pay for services within their own ecosystems, removing the need for a central banking authority. Artificial intelligence and machine learning gives access to unprecedented fast actions and predictions. Are you ready for Web 3.0? Share your thoughts in the comments. Subscribe to our channel to learn more about decentralization and its fundamental concepts.